Creating a shadow pass is a relatively simple matter. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure you manage the lights in your scene properly. So obviously if we're rendering out a separate shadow pass, we want the shadows at the scene level to be turned off since we don't want the shadow included in any other pass. So the way uh, I suggest to do this is basically take all your lights and tune the shadows and everything, enable them for the scene, get them how you want, then disable them. And now um, in the shadow pass through an override, we'll enable the shadows for the specific lights we want turned on. So the first thing we want to do is create a new empty pass. And we're just going to rename that to the shadow pass once it appears. And like we mentioned, we're going to turn on shadows for all the lights in the scene. Um, actually, I only want to turn them on for the three-point lights. So we're going to move those into a new partition. And we're going to apply an override to that partition. So get property override. And now we want to find the shadow parameter. So if you look under the light, under the light shader, under soft light, you'll see there's a shadow setting. So toggle that on to mark it. We want to enter it as a, just a single parameter that we enable. So we're going to select parameter. And we have the entry added to the override and we just turn that on. So now we've got our shadows turned on for this specific pass. Um, the next thing that remains is to actually extract the shadow information into the alpha channel. And the way we can do this is by using the shadow shader, which is a specifically designed shader to just render the shadow information in the alpha. So let's select the background object partition, get material, more. And if we actually go in the shader folder, material, you'll see here we've got the shadow shader that we want to use. So select that and apply it. And now if we actually look at RGB and alpha, uh, let me just move this over to wireframe so it's a little more visible. You can see we're actually just rendering the shadow information now for the scene, which is exactly what we wanted. So that was pretty simple. Um, next, we're going to be looking at more advanced uh, shadow shading examples.